How's it going guys? Kyle here with Newegg TV. I'm here to give you all an overview today on this motherboard from Biostar. This is the TZ77XE4. So taking a closer look at the box here, you can see that this motherboard is part of Biostar's T-Series, and it does feature their T-Overclocker software, which allows you to fine-tune and tweak the overclock settings of this motherboard within your OS. Aside from that, it does feature the 1155 socket, so it does support second and third generation Intel Core CPUs. Aside from that, you have SLI and Crossfire X support, and Virtue MVP, which actually switches between your integrated and discrete graphics to allow for uh, GPU optimization. So taking a look in the box here, we have a USB 3.0 front panel adapter, which you can install on a 3.5 inch drive bay in your case. This is for all of you users out there who may not have a USB 3.0 port on the front of your case. That will definitely ensure that you have a USB 3.0 front panel connection. Here you have your software driver installation CD along with that T overclocker software on it. Uh, it's always best to head over to the Biostar website and uh, download the latest drivers to ensure full compatibility and functionality. User's manual, be sure to read that. And here you have a, uh, a Velcro cable with the Biosar logo on it, as, as uh, well as four SATA cables, and they each have their own metal plug there, or I'm sorry, metal clip, to ensure a secure connection. You've got a rear panel here for your I.O. Uh, it's painted black and labeled for your convenience. Along here we've got two uh, bridges. You've got a ribbon-style Crossfire X bridge there and a uh, rigid PCB SLI connector. Let's take a look at the motherboard. So taking a look at the motherboard here, you can see Biostar is gone with a black and orange color scheme. The PCB itself is actually a uh, black matte finish. Um, pretty much will match with most cases there. And uh, at the bottom here, you've got a debug LED. So basically, if anything goes wrong with your motherboard, a little code will pop up there. You can look that code up in your user's manual and find out exactly what's going on, what's wrong with your motherboard to uh, give you a better troubleshooting experience. Down here in the corner, you've got your front panel connectors, HD power LED reset, all that good stuff. Here you've got surface mounted power and reset, one with a clear CMOS button, a three pin fan header, along with uh, two USB front panel, two, point, uh, two front panel USB 2.0 headers. You've got a COM header and an uh, infrared header there. Another three pin system fan header, SPDIF out, as well as HD audio header. Taking a look at all the PCI Express stuff going on here, you've got two PCIe 3.0 uh, 16X slots, along with the PCI Express 1X slot, two legacy PCI uh, slots there, and this last PCI Express slot does support 4X speeds. Uh, it's pretty easy to miss here, but that is a front panel USB 3.0 header. And take a look at the SATA ports here on the side. You've got eight SATA ports. These two on the left are powered by an add-on controller. Those do support SATA 6G speeds. These six ports here are natively controlled by the Z77 chipset. These four in the middle supporting speeds of uh, SATA uh, revision 2.0, and these two on the right uh, are SATA revision 3.0. Taking a look up top here, let me set this down. You've got a 24-pin supplemental uh, motherboard power connector there along with four DIMM slots. They support up to 32 gigs capacity. That's DDR3 memory, and they do also support max speeds of 1600 megatransfers per second and OC speeds of 2400 megatransfers per second. To the left of that is your 1155 socket, once again supporting second and third generation Intel Core processors. And to the left of that and just above is your power delivery. So here you've got two big heat sinks, once again over your MOSFETs. You've got some chokes and capacitors there uh, surrounding it and a nice little heat pipe there running in between your lovely heat sinks to keep everything cool. Up here is your 8-pin EPS power connector for your CPU. Taking a look at the I.O., you've got a PS2 connector up top for your, um, your keyboard and mouse. You've got two USB 2.0 connectors, display port and HDMI out, along with uh, VGA out, as well as DVI digital. And uh, up top here, you've got eSATA port, along with two more USB 3.0 ports. You've got two more USB 2.0 ports to the right of that and an NCI, I'm sorry, uh, an Intel NIC, which supports speeds of up to one gigabit per second. And lastly, you have your standard analog audio outs. And really quickly, guys, I forgot to mention that up top here is your four-pin CPU fan connector. And that's going to wrap up this overview. Once again, this has been the TZ77XE4 motherboard by Biostar. I'm Kyle with Newegg TV, and if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks for watching Newegg TV, and I'll see you guys later.